with Chico's Cars, and I'm in a 2019 Mercedes AMG GTC. 550 horsepower, 0 to 63.7 seconds, quarter mile just over 11 seconds, and this is a muscle sports car that was actually built as a 911 competitor, and I'm having fun with it. Starting at $170,000, the GTC falls just underneath the GTR, which is much more of a track-focused only car. If you're going to use the car less on the track, more on the street, you're really better off to go with this one because it's more comfortable, more streetable, kind of like a 911 GTS versus a 911 GT3 RS. Uh, this one goes right after a 911 GTS, same about price. Uh, it is a much more exotic car uh, from the outside appearance than a Porsche 911. So how does this car drive? It, even though this is a sports car and it's certainly very sporty, it feels a little bit more like a muscle car than a 911. 911 feels more like a precision instrument where this feels like a blunt sledgehammer. So if you want something that's a little more raw and more visceral and gives you that exotic car feeling, then this might be your choice over a 911. But if you want a sports car for back road country driving, you want something that's really precise and super intuitive and you hop in it and feel um, instantaneous like you're in a race car, then the 911 is still for you. So what I love about this car, the handcrafted four liter V8 twin turbo is amazing. This engine thrusts this car forward uh, at hyper speed and it gives it, it's not just the speed of the car, but it's also the theatrics and the sound and just how it does it. Um, it's amazing. You can't get this feeling in an electric car, that's for sure and it's a more theatrical motor than even a 911 GTS. Also, the outside look of this car is exotic. It's big, but it's got an awesome presence. Every angle looks amazing. The brakes and the acceleration of this car feel tremendous. The handling feels sharp, but I really haven't had a chance to like push it. So my gripes about the AMG GTC, first and foremost, it's a lot of the controls aren't as driver focused as I'd like. They take your eyes off the road and they're put they put things in weird spots. You do get used to it, but it's certainly not as intuitive as the controls in, let's say, a 911 or a Cayman. As well, the visibility out the right side of this car, especially with my seat all the way forward because I'm a shorter driver, the mirror and the pillar block my entire view out the right side. I actually have to switch my head to turn around to make sure there aren't cyclists or pedestrians or other cars coming along. Uh, as well, the infotainment system in this car is very antiquated, but I believe they fixed that in the 2020 models. So those are my gripes. Now who would get this over a 911 GTS? It'd be somebody that really doesn't want a 911 because everybody wants a 911. The 911 is the benchmark best sports car you can buy for this kind of money. And this car, even though it's amazing, it, in my opinion, would have a hard time competing with a 911 GTS, which I consider the best sports car in the planet. I, with my money, I would go over for a 911 GTS over this all day long. But if I was looking for something that was more exotic for this kind of money, then I don't think you could go wrong with choosing an AMG GTC.
gang, Mercedes makes an amazing car, and this AMG GTC is a wonderful, wonderful drive. Big shout out to Faf Automotive Group and Faf Mercedes for loaning me this amazing car. And remember to subscribe to my channel, Chico's Cars Drive Festival. Hit that notification bell, and I'll bring you more interesting cars and cool car content. Thanks for watching.